Hey everyone, Spencer Jones here with Jones Into Get Fit and our live cooking show this week. And I'm super excited for this cooking show. It's going to be amazing. Tomorrow is Halloween. So that means today is obviously October 30th because, you know, tomorrow's Halloween. So we are going to make some delicious, some amazing smook, smooky. I don't even know what smooky is anymore. Spooky bites. So what are these spooky bites I'm talking about? It's not some creepy, curly, ugly little thing. It's a perfect thing for Halloween that's going to make your family scream with delight. Get a nice little pun there, just for y'all. All right, anyway, so our spooky bites are perfect for uh, right before you go trick-or-treating so your kids aren't starving or hungry, or you just want to snack on, or maybe afterwards, right? You don't want all that sugar stuff. You're still looking for something healthy. This is it. It's going to be amazing. I apologize for my dog barking. He's being a real jerk lately, so I apologize about that. All right, so here's what you're going to need. Let me bring you on over here. It's real simple, real quick recipe. So, yes, Halloween's tomorrow. You can watch this recipe tonight live, right? You're watching it tonight, hopefully, live. And uh, you can make it tonight and have it set for tomorrow. Or if you don't have the ingredients, you can go get the ingredients and make it tomorrow just in time for trick-or-treating. Oh yeah, it's gonna be incredible, or anytime, right? It doesn't have to be just for Halloween. You can do it anytime. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. We're gonna bring you down. You are going to need a half cup of peanut butter. Now I got all natural uh, peanut butter, um, crunchy, because I like crunchy peanut butter. Mm-mm, good. Half cup of that. Need a half cup of oats. So these are rolled oats. Whoa, get them up in camera's view, Spencer. There we go. Half cup of rolled oats. You're gonna need a tablespoon of flaxseed. Now that's ground flaxseed. Um, I have some semi-sweet chocolate chip morsels, so yummy, the chocolate chips. Um, and then I also have butterscotch chips. You could use chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, any other kind of chips for a coating. And then some honey. You're gonna need about one tablespoon of honey. That's it, that's all you need. This is gonna be quick. It's gonna be easy, super easy. Like most of the recipes I try to do to help you make a quick, easy meal and show you that eating healthy and living a great life doesn't mean you have to eat fast food or cook for hours. Hopefully you're not eating fast food and like trying to live a healthy life because that doesn't work out too well, right? But that doesn't mean you have to be a slave to the kitchen cooking and baking for hours on end or just eating salads. No, we got more than that. And here's what we're gonna do. All right, so first things first. Microwave safe bowl, like this one, you're going to add your peanut butter. So, already measured up, half cup of peanut butter. Boom, in there like that. Wasn't it beautiful? It was gorgeous, I know. So we got that. Now you're gonna need a tablespoon of honey. Again, well I shouldn't say again, the Jones and Four live cooking show, right? Jones and Get Fit live cooking show. Yeah, we don't measure things out, we do this. We go, all right, tablespoon. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah, that's a tablespoon, wasn't that beautiful? Excellent. Now you're gonna put this in the microwave for just a couple seconds. You want it to get nice and soft. Nice, soft peanut butter in here. Melt it a little bit. So it's gonna take just a couple seconds, probably about 10 to 15, actually probably like 15 to 20 seconds for that. So we're gonna let that cook in here. And then what we're gonna do, as we're doing that, we're gonna combine our one tablespoon of flax so good with our oats so as you can see here got our oats got our flax boom there we go it's been in here for oh almost 30 seconds I'm letting go I'm watching it melt down and there's 30 seconds we are gonna stir things up in here so we got our peanut butter and oh oh yeah and the honey oh yeah that smells good so it's in there for 30 seconds um, it's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, it's melty. I'm gonna put it in just for a little bit longer. Just a little bit. You wanna make sure it doesn't burn. It shouldn't burn too much. I'm just gonna add it for 10 more seconds. So it's 40 seconds total. Watching these spooky bites. All right, we have five seconds. Four, three, two, one, boom. Here we go, done. Now it's nice and melty, right? Our peanut butter and honey combination. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our flax and our um, rolled oats. Now you can make this um, vegan, or sorry, I can't make it. Well, you probably could make this vegan um, pretty easily. 
Uh, you can make it vegetarian, you can make it gluten-free by getting gluten-free oats, and you're making sure your peanut butter is gluten-free and all that as well, if needed. So we're gonna add our flax and oats in here. So again, half cup oats, tea, uh, tablespoon of flax, ground flax. Now I'm gonna take, I don't want that spoon, I'm gonna use my spatula, and I'm just gonna mix it all up. And you wanna mix it all up here and get it so it's nice and coated. Now these are gonna make our balls. That's right, so it's like spooky balls for us, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we just wanna make sure we get it all coated in here. Perfect. All right, so if it looks a little too dry, you can add some more oats to it, all right? This is one nice part, you can always adjust it, but give it a little bit of time. Those oats are gonna take in the moisture from the honey, from the peanut butter, that's all right. So as you can see, as I'm folding it here, right, it's starting to keep its form a little bit better every time. All right, so we're just gonna keep folding it. It looks pretty well mixed. All right, so just keep mixing it. You can mix it with your hands. This is when you have your kids have some fun with it too. So if you have kids, make sure you wash your hands, or you wash your hands, or your kids wash your hands, and uh, you know, start mixing it all up. Get dirty with it. It's fun. All right. We're gonna let that sit just for a little bit as we get our next step ready. So I put in two tablespoons, something like that, of our butterscotch chips, right? So we're gonna have some fun with it. It's okay to have chocolate every now and then, right? If you wanted um, the peanut butter chips, that's awesome. Chocolate chips, that's awesome, right? Dark chocolate, now if you really wanna be like super healthy about this, totally cool, I totally applaud you, then I would, hey Robert, how are you doing? Thanks for watching, man, I appreciate it. I love to see comments, yes, you rock. Think, buddy. So, um, if you want to be healthy with it, get dark chocolate because dark chocolate is, well, I don't like it personally. It's just not my cup of tea, but some people love it and that works even better. So, um, if you love it, you can definitely use that. So, I'm using butterscotch chips. We're going to stick it in the microwave for another couple seconds and we just want it to get melted. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create our bites, our balls, if you will, with um, the peanut butter and flaxseed and oatmeal combination. I want to say missing here. Um, honey, peanut butter, you know, that combination, that, that mix we have right there. I took out my rings, because I was getting all sticky and that's just sad. Oh, not 20 seconds wasn't quite enough. I have to go a little bit longer. Watch them to make sure you don't overcook, because that would be sad, right? You don't want to overcook oh, the butterscotch. That's not okay, man. All right, they're looking all right. You don't want to keep it too close, right? You don't want to like look crazy. All right, we're going to first create our balls here, so our bites, if you will. So I'm going to grab a plate here, just because I didn't come totally prepared. We got our plate. Yay! Here's what you're going to do: roll up your sleeves, have your kids help you out. You take a little bit of your mixture and roll it into a little ball like that. Oh, it's so pretty. And so you're just going to keep rolling it, keep grabbing uh, enough, and keep making your yeah, squeeze it together. Now, one thing that will help once you're doing this is um, cooling it down. So if you refrigerated the mixture, it's still pretty warm from the, the honey and peanut butter being heated up. Now it's getting stuck to my fingers. Come on. Um, if you cool it down, that'll help uh, it stick less and it'll help form the balls a little bit more, a little easier, I should say. Now, you can totally add things to this. If you're a Coconut Flakes fan, add Coconut Flakes, right? Um, try to get you know the unsweetened kind uh, and things like that, but you could totally add these extra ingredients. Um, you could add chocolate chips to it, but we're already adding a little bit of extra stuff to the end, so you wouldn't need to do too much. These are quick, easy, healthy bites, and we wanna try to keep them as healthy as possible here. Um, mine is the dark chocolate aspect. So as I'm forming these bites here, really quickly, um, if you notice I'm wearing a Team Beachbody uh, sweatshirt here, and it's because, well, you know, I'm a Beachbody coach. I like to help people go after health and fitness. Um, I've lost over 30 pounds by doing Beachbody programs. Uh, started with P90X, if you ever heard of that, Tony Horton and just working out and I found what works for me and the dedication and really got me into eating healthy which led me to making this uh, cooking show for for y'all. Well, we got balls of different sizes here. That's all right. Um, so if you're interested in 
I got sick of looking myself in the mirror, got sick of the way I felt and looked and just that overall feeling. If you ever have that feeling and, and you're just not happy with it and you'd like to get more out of life, you want to be there for your kids longer without health issues, talk to me. Let me help you out with it. Um, I'm more than happy to help you find what works for you. Maybe it's a Beachbody program, maybe it's not, but let me help you out and, and so you can meet your goals, right? One of my passions in life is to help people reach their goals. So if that's interested, hit me up, message me below, um, comment, um, you know, email me, whatever works. All right, so we have seven bites here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these in the refrigerator, because again, remember I said that it helps that they're a little bit cool. I'm gonna try not getting too much peanut butter in the refrigerator. Now your hands are all covered, or your kids' fingers are all covered with honey and flax and oats and peanut butter. And this is the best part, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, oh yeah, mm. Hey, listen, your kids doing this are gonna love it. If you have dogs and you, you're like, you got enough, you know, eating your fair share of what, you know, tasting this on your fingers, let your dogs lick it off. They love it. Just amazing. All right, let me rinse my hands off real quick. So that we can keep the show going. You don't have to watch me lick my hands off and get all the peanut butter off and let my dog lick it. Because that'd be a long show. It'd be fun though. I think it'd be fun. All right, and I'm back. Uh -huh. Clean hands and everything. Yay, we're set to go. Okay, so no baking cooking show. Well, minus the microwave. I guess we kind of baked with the microwave. But that's okay. Okay. Now we're back. We have our butterscotch chips in here. I'm gonna take a toothpick. You could use a spoon if you like, something else. I'm just using a toothpick here to see if they're ready yet to be whoa, mixed up. Nope. My dog's trying to kill me down here. We're gonna let that go for another 15 or so seconds. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. We're also gonna grab milk. Now, if you have heavy whipping cream or something like that, that's okay. This milk. Totally optional. What it's going to do is it's going to, you know, thin essentially our butterscotch chips that we're melting. So if it, if your mixture, whatever you're melting down, whether it's um, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, butterscotch, whatever, right? If it gets to be too thick, then you can reduce it down with some milk. And be careful because you don't want these things to burn. It's really easy. So we're just add a splash. Ooh, a little sizzle. There we go. Um, milk here to get this down. Oh yeah. Look at that goodness. Tasty. Butterscotch. Maybe a fork would have, ah, ah, there we go. Now it's starting to cooperate. You can add a little milk in there too. Um, as you're cooking it down in the microwave, that's going to help it stop from burning. Mine started to burn just a little bit, but that is a-okay. There we go. See, it almost like a caramel effect, right? Ooh, you could use caramel. That'd be tasty, too. Okay. Excellent. So we have our butterscotch here, right? This is what we're going to dip our balls in, right? What our spooky bites in. So we're set. Now, you could freeze your spooky bites if you want um, in the freezer overnight. That works great, too. Um, put them in the refrigerator overnight a couple hours or if you're like me and you're doing this as a live cooking show Yeah, just just do it for a couple minutes because that's what we got time for all right So you do what you can It's all gonna be okay So we have our spooky bites chilled semi chilled they could be in there a little bit longer, but that's all right We're gonna make it work. All right. Mmm. We'll be good you could put parchment paper down, wax paper down if you like. That's going to help it from sticking. Totally up to you. You don't have to, but it is definitely going to help um, with the sticking aspect. So then you're going to take your spooky bite and your filling, your topping. We got butterscotch, as I said. And we're just going to coat top of it down like that. We're just going to put it upside down. Here comes the fun part. We're going to get some... Uh, Come on, chocolate chips. Oh, maybe, maybe they want to come out. There we go. Whoa, 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 got too many. And we're gonna put it as a cute little top. 
Oh, look, it's a cute little pumpkin. And then you can have fun. If you're making this with your family, your kids, you can have them decorate it. Um, you can melt a little chocolate if you want, or your topping. I like chocolate because it's going to be a little different than the butterscotch. And you can make like little pumpkin faces, little smiley faces, spooky faces, right? They're spooky bites. You want some spooky faces with it. There we go. We'll just do a couple more here for you. And that's, this is it, right? So then you are set to enjoy a treat, a healthy treat, that's going to be freaking amazing and be spooky all at the same time. And you and your family can make this super easy, fast, what? It took me 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do all this. And really, I talked a lot. All right, so um, you totally can do this with your family. If you need more, uh, more topping, great. If you need less, well, have a little extra treat every now and Treat yourself. It's okay. You're allowed to treat yourself. I'm running a little bit low, so I can definitely make more here, but I just want to finish it up for our show. That one there. So these are like our little stems for our pumpkins. And if the your topping gets a little too thick, you can always reheat it again. There we go. Two more here. I bet you I can make something happen. Let's see here. We're going to have some fun. Just to make sure I'm going to scoop it out with my finger and paint it on. It looks horrible. It looks just wrong. But it's okay, buddy. We're going to make you beautiful. We'll do it to the other one here. Just trying to use it up for our cooking show. This is where you can have fun with your family, right? Be creative. Let's see it. If you make this with your family, whether it's today, tomorrow for Halloween, or any other time of the year, right? You can make some flavors and do whatever. It's a healthy snack. Um, for your family if you do please take a picture like seriously please take a picture of it and uh, post it on social media tag me Spencer Jones in it or tag um, Jones in to get fit in it because I would love to see your creations all right there we go ladies and gents there is our little army of spooky bites right there aren't they so cute and adorable mm, 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 good check that out yummy right there delicious super easy to make no time right 15 minutes 20 minutes done and you are set to enjoy some amazing treats before you go trick-or-treating after you go trick-or-treating or anytime thanks so much for watching folks i really appreciate you taking the time to watch this live cooking show if you could do me a huge favor like an ultimate huge favor first like this video and second, share it out. Share it out with your friends, your family. Tag them in uh, below like, hey, John, you'll love this. Or, hey, Sue, your kids, and you should totally make this super easy. Or insert name there, you know, whoever your friends are that you think would like it. Put them below. If you're watching this on YouTube, copy that link. Share it with them on, uh, on social media or email it to them, right? I really appreciate your support and getting these videos to as many people as possible to show them and tell them that eating healthy and being healthy doesn't take a lot of hard work, right? We can make quick, easy, healthy meals and treats in no time. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I truly appreciate it. Have a great night. Have a happy Halloween. Stay safe. Get spooky. Enjoy it. And, you know, enjoy a little bit of candy. A little bit. You know, one piece, two pieces, something like that. Don't go crazy. Have a great Halloween, folks. We will catch you next week when we start getting ready for the holidays with some amazing, delicious desserts and meal recipes for the wintertime. All right, we'll catch you all next week. Have a good one, and we'll see you later.